Yo guys, what's up? It's Neil here. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping by. If you're not subscribed, we'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button down below. Catch me for a bunch of hat unboxings, jersey unboxings, sports mem memorabilia collecting in general. I've got a bunch of stuff back there on the shelves. I'm going to be making a video going over all of the backgrounds, what's on each shelf, uh, what's over here that you guys never really see, kind of doing a bit of a room tour. That's going to come probably within the next couple of weeks. I've already started to film it, so we'd love to have you on board. Now today we are looking at all of my jersey and hat combos. If you're new, I have a jersey from every single NHL team and, and I have a hat from every single NHL team. I talk about every single NHL team on this channel. And when I do a video, I like to wear uh, different jerseys and different hats to pay respect to all you guys, all the fans from all the, um, all the teams around the league. So uh, today I've decided to wear Tampa, but we're going to look at all of my... No, okay, let me reword that. Not all of my jerseys. We're going to look at 38 of the best jersey and hat combos that I have. So for example, we'll take Florida. So you, eventually in this video, you're going to see uh, my Florida away jersey with a hat. Well, I also have the Florida reverse retro that also looks kind of good with the hat as well, the same hat. So that's where the 38 number comes from. I've kind of narrowed it down to what I think are kind of my favorites of my whole collection. Now I have ranked these. So what I need from you guys is to, well, hopefully enjoy the video, but what I need from you guys is to leave your comments down below after the video, tell me if I was wrong, tell me if I was right with my ranking, and then let me know which of the hat jersey combo that I have uh, in my collection do you think is the best. So I would love to know your opinion and uh, we'll go from there. So. There's, like I said, there's 38. I'm going to bring them up. up wow, long day. I'm going to bring them up on my computer and go through them uh, in reverse order, 38 to 1, and then we'll see we'll see who, who my number one is. So let's get going. Number 38, I have put my St. Louis Blues alternate with my reverse retro hat. So while it does look pretty good together, actually, you know, it's very complimentary. There's the same kind of striping, obviously the same shades of color and, and, and whatnot, same logo. It uh, It's a bit wrong because th this combo doesn't work because the reverse retro exists. Now the hat is based on the reverse retro. The jersey is the alternate that came before that. So it has red as the primary color on the hat, but it has blue as the primary color on the jersey. It does balance okay, but it still, feel still feels just a little bit off. I mean, I still like it. It's, it's, but it just happens to be ranked last in my favorite combos. Number 37, I put my Ems and Oilers combo. I think I, I like wearing this one a lot. I think it looks good on camera, but uh, if, you, if you really dissect it and look at it individually or, or by itself, you can tell that the shade is completely off of the blue. The, ha the hat is much darker. The jersey is much lighter in terms of uh, the shade of blue. So it's a, I think it looks okay as far as design and stuff, but the different shade, uh, it, it had to bring it down my list. Number 36, I put the Minnesota Wild. I also really like this combo as well. I think it looks good on camera, but... It's the hat's black, and there's not really any black in the jersey that I can even think of. Maybe other than now, that even the laces aren't even black. So uh, the the hat is is a bit out of place, but it's okay. It doesn't look too bad. Number thirty five, I put my uh, Carolina Hurricanes slash Hartford Whalers alternates with an actual Hartford Whalers hat. So the shade of blue is off just slightly, which is kind of bringing it down. So if you look at the striping on the arms, and then look at the hat, different shades of blue. But it still does look pretty good, and you're going to see this uh, again here in a little bit. Number 34, I put the Toronto Maple Leafs, kind of for the same reason, uh, is the shade of blue. It's a little bit lighter on the hat, but I do I do think it looks a lot better than the ones that came uh, before with, that you just saw. The logo on the hat is identical to the one in the jersey, so that is very complimentary. And uh, yeah, leave it at that. Number 33, this one is a bit conflicting for me because... I obviously love the Kachina jersey, and I, I love that hat. I just got it. Shout out to Tim, who works for the uh, Coyotes, who sent it to me. I I don't think these two look great together because the hat itself is just using more of a gold and a black. There's no other color on it, where the Kachina jersey's got, you know, it's got that orange, it's got the burgundy, it's green, it's black, it's it's got that sand color, the off-white. So color-wise, they don't really match. But when I wear them, I feel like they look okay together. But in a picture, they, they definitely look a little bit off. But I, I really like it, even though it's 33. Number 32, the Philadelphia Flyers. Although I don't like this hat, it's probably the least favorite hat in my collection because it's very uncomfortable uncomfortable to wear. It does look okay with this jersey. I, I do want a different hat in the future if I could find one. But the, the Philadelphia alternate, it being primarily black, and the hat being primarily black with just a, a touch of orange, just like the jersey, they do complement each other well. But I'm not crazy about that kind of faded logo in the back of the hat. 
Number 31, the Vancouver Canucks. So although these match very well, they're kind of inaccurate at this point because the Vancouver on the top of the Orca on the jersey and the hat isn't applicable anymore. Vancouver got rid of that last year and they just have the Orca on the front. So it feels, to me, this combo feels dated. I don't have an updated jersey and I don't have an updated hat. So that's kind of the reason why I ranked it a little bit low, but it looks good visually. Number 30, the uh, Winnipeg Jets. So when I wear this, I think it complements uh, each other very well. I think it looks really good on camera, but there's so much gray in the hat. I know it's maybe a little bit difficult to see in the photo, but there's a lot of gray in the hat. Actually, it's the exact same hat I'm wearing right now, except for it's Winnipeg, so it's white, and then the side is kind of gray like this. I think it's a bit of a, a darker gray. Uh, there's nothing I really dislike about it. It just it has maybe too much gray in the hat. That's really all it comes down to, guys. Number 29, the Chicago Blackhawks. Conflicted with this one as well, because the Winter Classic is my favorite Chicago Blackhawks uh, jersey. That hat does complement it very well. I kind of wish it was white, though, and not gray. There's no gray in the jersey. But uh, I think the logo itself on the hat looks so damn good contrasted with the jersey. It just looks it just looks unbelievable. The only fault is the hat being gray and not white. Number 28, the Columbus Blue Jackets. So these were destined to be together. That is a reverse retro hat. That is a re reverse retro jersey. They do look very good together. So I can't really knock them for that, but uh, I would say just kind of average, I guess, just average in my collection. Number 27, it's kind of the one that I'm wearing now, I guess, with, with, but it's with the, uh, the away jersey. I feel like this combo, <clears throat> excuse me, this combo looks better than this combo. I don't know why, I just feel it looks a little bit better with the white. Uh, feel free to disagree, but uh, I just I just like it a little bit more. Now that jersey's actually been sent away to get stitched, so I don't even have it to wear even if I wanted to. Number 26, the Minnesota Wild Subway Reverse Retro. I understand that it does look like a Subway uniform. I'm not, I'm not denying that at all. But if you look at the jersey, what other hat would you put with it? It's gotta be the, it's gotta be the reverse retro hat that, that matches it. And although it does match literally perfectly, it, it's just, it's still a little bit hideous. I guess think I would have preferred for the hat to be primarily green to match the shoulders and then where the green stripe is on the hat to be white. So it's not perfect, but it does match okay. Number 25, another reverse retro, another reverse retro hat. So both re reverse retro hat and jersey here do look good together. The the logo on top and the front of the hat, I, I felt like they, they maybe could have put Mighty Wing on there but they didn't. They went with that, that original logo, which is fine because it's also on the jersey of Mighty Wing, but uh, decent, decent hat, a uh, decent combo. What else would you put with this jersey that would look okay? And, and what else? I guess you could wear the anniversary jersey. The anniversary jersey might look okay with that hat, but uh, I, like, I prefer this combo more. Number 24, the Nashville Predators. Guys, uh, you know, th this ranking aside, if you don't have the Nashville Predators jersey, reverse retro, and you collect jerseys, please consider getting it. Even if you don't visually like it, the materials that it uses on the shoulder, it's just, it's its so unique to have in your collection. I, I promise you will you will not regret it. And it, it's even better when you get it stitched. So if you, if you want to get it stitched, I think Kulaki maybe still has some in stock, but uh, it is probably the, the, the favorite, or at least second favorite jersey in my collection from the Reverse Retros. That aside, it, this looks pretty good together. I kind of wish maybe the brim of the hat wasn't yellow and it had a little bit more silver in it. It does have that stripe, but I just want a little bit more. Number 23, the LA Kings. So this is this is a hat and jersey that, uh, you know, were made in, in diff for different years. The hat came from 2017. This jersey was in 2019, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, they were created separately, but when you put them together, I think they actually look pretty good. It's a bit of a mix of old versus new going with the 90s style or late 80s, early 90s style logo on the jersey, but then the new logo on the front of the hat and they still complement each other because of the same uh, color, which is not really color, it's just black and white. Number 22, the uh, Arizona Coyotes reverse retro combo. This, that hat was specifically made for the jersey. Now in this photo, the hat actually looks like it has a bit more of a shade of, uh, of purple or violet into it and uh, the jersey looks more blue. It's just a trickery of, of lighting based on the angle of the hat. I promise you that these are very close, if not identical in person. So just a bit of a trick there to just ignore it. But this is, this, is a pretty good, this is a pretty good combo. In this situation, there is so much orange on the brim. I actually would prefer it to not be there and maybe, maybe have that purple as well. And uh, maybe just have the orange stripe kind of be where that black stripe is. Uh, but it's still a pretty decent combo. Number 21, the New Jersey Devils. 
one of my least favorite hats in my collection, but it does look pretty good. Like that logo big on the side there looks really uh, good. The the hat with the jersey, and I I get complimented, or I guess I don't get complimented, but the channel gets complimented in the comment section. Every time I wear this hat and this jersey, at least one person says, I love that hat jersey combo. Uh, so I think a lot of people really like the way this one looks, including myself. Next, Anaheim Ducks in 20th, in tw whoa, I said that weird, in 20th. I love this combo. And I, this wouldn't be possible without you guys because Jared sent in that jersey, which is a phenomenal jersey. It looks so much better in person than it does in photos. And uh, although there's no really gray in it, I, I think it complements the hat very well, or I think the hat complements it very well. It's just, it, it balances nicely. They're completely different, but they just look good together at the same time. All of the orange is in the jersey, but most of the hat isn't orange. It's just that little highlight. So that highlight versus the primary orange, I think balances okay. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. Number 19, the San Jose Sharks. And that hat was sent in by Nick. And at the time, I did have a Reebok uh, Sharks jersey. It was blank, and I had it. I gave it away for a, a prize. And up until recently, I didn't really have anything to match with this hat. But I got this jersey hand stitched from Cool Hockey, and it matches, I think, quite perfectly with the jersey. So this is definitely one of my favorite combos. Number 18, the Rangers Reverse Retro. That hat was designed specifically for the jersey. I don't think it could match any better. Uh, I, the channel, again, gets complimented on that uh, combo quite a bit when I wear it. Number 17, the Pittsburgh Penguins. To me, this is literally the perfect um, the jersey and hat combo. It's They're not my favorite color combination in the league, but the jersey looks utterly perfect with that hat. It's a very simple hat. You got the New Era logo on the side. You got the logo in the middle. Um, it's just, yeah, it's perfect. Number 16, the Islanders reverse retro with the Islanders hat there. That is a New Era 3930 hat. And so many people have asked me where I've got that hat. I did get it at Lids, but it was in 2017. They don't make it anymore. I wish I could send you a link in these. Say, you know, go buy it. I would buy another one if I could. I've had it since 2017. I've worn it a ton. I love the hat. And again, although it doesn't really match the jersey that well, on camera when I wear it, it gets complimented a lot. And I think it looks also pretty good. It, did, it, it never looked that good with the Reebok version of the uh, Islanders jersey that I had. And uh, I never had an Adidas regular Islanders jersey. I only had the reverse retro. So it's just a bit of a deeper blue in the logo. And I find it matches the reverse retro better. Number 15, the Florida Panthers. So I used that example at the beginning of the, uh, of the video. That hat was, wasn't made to match with the reverse retro. But at the same time, I think it looks really good. Again, mixing kind of old with new a bit. The original-ish style logo with some modifications. Uh, with the new uh, logo on the hat. Um, the colors, the shades are the same, so that is where its strengths are in the shades of colors. It matches very well. Number 14, ah, does that hat look familiar? That's the hat we saw earlier, except now it's paired with the actual reverse retro. Now this is a combo that works, in my opinion, primarily red in the hat, primarily red on the jersey. Again, made for each other, and they look really good. Number 13, it's... I kind of went back and forth. I'll just be honest with you guys. I wanted to put one of the Hartford combos in the top and one of them in the bottom. And I had a really hard time deciding which to put in the top and which to put in the bottom. I spent a, an embarrassing amount of time trying to think about it. I went with this combo just because of the gray. Now, there is, on the hat, there's, there's, it's more white than it is gray. And the jersey is more gray than it is white. So the balance isn't 100%. I know it looks really close on camera. It's not actually that close in person. Uh, but I felt like this just looked a little bit better, even though the shades of blue still, again, don't match. I, I love the way that these look on camera. Number 12. I, I, this looks weird in the photo. I'm just seeing, seeing this kind of almost, not really for the first time, but uh, it's, it's been a while since I took this photo. The shade of black in the hat looks way lighter than the shade of the jersey. I think that is, again, a, a trickery of lighting. They're very close in person. The stealth jersey with a black hat, they're, they're, that's exactly what the hat should be, I think, and if you're gonna, you're gonna match it with, uh, with the jersey, just really simple, really clean. Number 11, the Detroit Red Wings. I think this looks so good. Again, it's just, it's simple. I have a couple of hats with the same kind of design if you've probably come to notice. Uh, this is just the Detroit version of that. It's, Detroit does it right, don't they? They have the cleanest jerseys. They have the most probably uh, iconic and and never changing jerseys. I guess Montreal's up there too as well, but I, I just, I love this combination. It's just really, really simple. And I, I like, red's not my favorite, favorite color, but I like wearing red. So I do love this combo. Uh, number 10, the Winnipeg Jets reverse retro. Again, 
made for each other. The hat was literally made to go with this jersey, so of course they're going to match. And uh, the jersey gets a lot of hate, but I, I've I really come to like it a lot. And uh, that logo on the front of the hat, I, I, it looks amazing on the jersey, but on the hat, it looks also incredible. It's so detailed. I love it. Number nine, the Washington Capitals reverse retro and reverse retro hat. Again, it's made for each other. This That's exactly what it should be. That jersey should be worn with this hat, and this hat should be worn with this jersey. Now, I've worn a different jersey with this hat on the channel, and I've worn that jersey with a different hat on the channel. The opposite of whatever I said the first time. You guys know what I mean. Uh, anyways, it looks really good. Number eight, the Dallas Stars. Probably one you wouldn't really uh, be expecting. The... It's just, I don't, it's just simple. It just comes to, down to it being completely simple. Uh, me not having another really green-focused combo that I really like uh, that much. It is, it is just really a simple combination. The shoulders are primarily green, so it bleeds up into the green hat very well. I think if the hat was white, it wouldn't balance uh, well enough or good enough, well enough, whatever. You know what I mean. So, yeah, I like this one. Top 10 for me. Number seven, the Montreal Canadiens reverse retro. The blue is awesome. Uh, and again, this hat was made literally for the jersey. So I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I got to I gotta talk about it. That, that, that They were sold together and I bought them together. I didn't buy them together, but I bought them around the same time. Um, love it. Number six, the Rangers. <sighs> I struggled with this one because I really wanted to put it in the top five because I think of anything that I wear on the channel, this visually looks the best on camera. That hat with this jersey specifically looks perfect in my opinion uh, but it's not my favorite combo I don't I'm not I don't love the hat I just think it looks the best with that jersey so that's kind of where I'm sitting with that number five the Vegas Golden Knights home jersey with that hat the hat is the perfect shade of gray it complements the gold on there as well uh, it, it's it, I love that it says Vegas I love that the most primary thing on the hat is Vegas and then on the jersey the most primary thing is the actual logo so very complimentary number four the LA Kings and again a bit of a shade discrepancy here with the hat and the jersey, but I promise you, it's just a trick of the lighting. They're identical in person. This is my favorite reverse retro. Nashville's probably number two. This is my favorite. Uh, that hat with this jersey is is perfect. I haven't actually seen anyone online with the same combo. I've seen people with the hat. I've seen people with the jersey. I haven't actually seen anyone wear them together except for myself. Uh, difficult jersey to get, obviously. Probably one of the most popular. Difficult hat to get. That hat went sold out almost immediately as well, so I'm very lucky to have both. And uh, it's 100% uh, one of my favorite uh, combos. Number three, the Florida Panthers uh, away jersey. Again, a rare jersey. Not a lot of people have this one. It's difficult to get with the hat. That complements it literally perfectly. I love this combination. It's definitely one of my favorites. Obviously, top three. Number two, my favorite jersey with the only hat that I've ever seen that matches it. And I didn't even buy it. It was literally sent in by someone as a gift. And they... They hit a home run. They nailed it. They absolutely knocked it out of, the, out, of the, out of the park. That hat fits so perfectly with that jersey. It's just it's just awesome. I mean, you look at the brim. It matches the blue. You look at the white in the shoulders. That matches the middle of the hat. And then the, the burgundy sleeves at the bottom uh, contrast and match perfectly and mirror, I guess, the top of the hat. So everything just kind of fits perfectly together, in my opinion. And number one, which might surprise a lot of people, considering I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan, I got the Boston Bruins as my number one favorite hat and favorite jersey combo. I just, it's number one, it's the, I think I only have two hats that are maybe three hats. So I've got the Anaheim Ducks reverse retro hat, the Minnesota Wild reverse, reverse retro hat that's white, and then this one. But this is one is my one that's mostly primarily white. And uh, I think it's I think it's fantastic. I think it complements the jersey so well. It's probably my favorite one to wear other than the Rangers one that I think looks good on camera. I really think this one looks good on camera when I wear it. So I try and I try and wear it frequently, but not too much. Not too much. I don't want to wear, wear Bruins merch too much because I'm a Canadians fan. Uh, but that is my number one, guys. And uh, it's, again, objectively. And biasly, Boston's not number one. But objectively, looking at it, it's my favorite in my, in my collection. It's hard to say, but it's the truth. So we'd love to know your opinions down below. Did you, or did you see any that you felt needed or you thought should be first or needed to be first? And uh, how do you think about my Boston pick overall? And do you like the combo as well? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the uh, content suggestions down below in the, in the comment section as well. Please like this video if you did like it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the future. Adios.